So let's say you're at a campground. How do you know that the electrical supply is safe to use? Hi folks, I'm Roger from Off Grid, and in this episode we're just going to discuss the, the safety aspects of an electric hookup when you're at a campsite. If it's a really nicely well-run campsite that hasn't had guys sort of monkeying about with the, the wiring, then you could reasonably assume that it is safe. However, there have been a number of incidents, mostly in Europe, and at some sort of dodgy out-of-the-way campsites where the electrics have been played around with and, and changed by somebody, and they have essentially become unsafe. So let's look at how you would actually check that the wiring is all okay, and what you would do about it if it is not okay. So firstly, let's look at this tester. This tester is less than 20 quid off Amazon and it is a really nice. Uh, he has another one that we also use sometimes. We'll show you both of them in operation. So this one's tiny, uh, re really elementary, quite nice to carry around. So this tester, when you plug it into your mains, will tell you when there is a problem. And we're gonna look at the two major problems that you need to think about and to mitigate if you have an issue with them. So let's, let's pretend that this is your socket at the campsite so it could be on a little post you know in a box there could be a whole lot of splitters and things like that as, as people share a common 16 amp point sort of getting more and more dodgy but anyway so this is your, your socket that you want to plug into how do you know that everything is okay and what are the two main things that you want to mitigate or check for and I'll tell you straight off there are two major things the first is reverse polarity so that's where the positive and the negative are reversed and so so instead of having positive on, on, on the one line and, and negative on the other, they're reversed. And some equipment is absolutely fine. And a lot of equipment is absolutely fine with that. There is some equipment that really doesn't like it and won't run. I don't know of many bits of equipment that would actually be damaged by reverse polarity. They just simply wouldn't work properly. So they wouldn't charge or something like that. So that's the first aspect you're looking at. Perhaps the most important aspect, though, is a lack of earth. So in this one, this one up here is the earth. And... If you don't have an earth, to all intents and purposes, your RCD in the motorhome is useless. So the RCD is the thing that when current goes to earth, it will switch off to save your life. They are a really good idea to have in any motorhome, and I think most motorhomes do have them built in. If you're do, building your own conversion, then you should have a consumer unit with an RCD. And obviously in your homes, especially where things are being plugged in and out, they are essential. Let's test these two scenarios. So firstly, you'll, obviously this is a British plug one. You get them in European plug and American, etc. But this is a British one. So if you're carrying this, you obviously can't put it into there and plug it into there. So first bit of kit that we would recommend you get, this is very inexpensive. It's about 20, 10 quid or so off Amazon. Just a simple plug with a British socket on the other end. So if you plug that in, so if you carry that with you and you plug it in and then you can put your tester in here. So in this particular case, this one to be correct requires three red lights. You can see one, two, three. I'm seeing all three of them. So therefore I know that the uh, the socket is completely to spec and safe. It's got its earth. The live and neutral are in the right, the right places. So very happy with this. Let's try this other. This is my favorite one. Yeah, it's a bit bigger than this, but I actually quite like it because in this particular case, it's telling us the voltage as well. So you can see if the voltage is right out of spec for because everybody's loading too much and taking drawing too much off there and you're worried about damaging your own equipment if the voltage is too low or if it's too high, this is quite handy to show you the voltage. But the important thing here, the correct part shows that you're going to have two LEDs on and the third one off. So that's what we're seeing. So we know that this line is quite fine. So I would happily plug this into my motorhome without a second thought. So that's cool. Now let, we're going to simulate a reverse polarity now and show you what that would look like and then what you can do about it. Right, so what we've done now is that we have simulated a reverse polarity. So we've taken literally just reversed it so that the live and neutral are swapped with each other. So same system, you're at a campground, here's your socket with reverse polarity. Uh, you put in your little cable. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I use this rather than just buying a, a 16 amp tester, that is because the equivalent of this for 16 amp range is between 50 and 100 quid so it's yeah it's a little bit more storage but it's much cheaper to buy this and this together and this becomes quite versatile in that you can check inside your your motorhome and that sort of thing so reverse polarity this one should straight away tell us we can see that uh, two the two outer ones on so the two outer ones so that's live neutral reverse 
So it tells you what the problem is there. Uh, if we look at the other little tester, it'll show it slightly differently. So one little light on the left there, and as we can see, live and neutral reverse. So both are showing us that the live and neutral are reversed, so some systems may not work properly as a result of that. Now, the e bottom line, if the live and neutral are reversed at the campsite, don't plug in, because you don't, unless you know your equipment is gonna be fine with it, don't plug in, it's not worth it. We travel with this little device, which simply reverses live and neutral. For sort of liability sake, I can't recommend that you make one up, but uh, speak to an electrician and have it done properly. And then, you know, you could travel with something that basically just simply reverses live and neutral. So we got it reversed here. This is a crossover that's going to re-reverse re it so that it's actually correct. Getting quite busy with all of these plugs here. But then you can see, according to our one tester, we're down back to the two, which is correct. And Look at this other one, we back to three, which is correct. That's what we want to see. So simple little device like this, doesn't take up much room, just a, a, sock, a plug in a socket with a very short length. It doesn't matter how long this is, it could be as long or as short as you want. I would do it really short and I would label it very, very distinctly. So maybe put some red X's so that you know it's crossed over and even put a label on so that you absolutely know without a doubt it's crossed over. I mean, it wouldn't make sense to have a short extension like this or anything other than that sort of purpose. So just make sure that you label it really well so that if somebody else was to get hold of it, they wouldn't um, assume that it's just an extension. Let's get on to the next demo. We're going to demo what it would look like if the earth is missing. Right, so the last simulation, again, we, we have now, uh, this is our campground with a, a the, with the earth removed. So your protection to all intents and purposes has been removed. If you look at this tester, one light showing over here, that corresponds to open ground. So ground is missing. That's pretty serious really in that uh, your protection, your RCD protection has been removed. And so there is the danger that that protection has been removed. Now, if we run through all of the things that this thing can test, uh, so obviously correct, or as we have it right now, missing ground, you can have an open neutral, as in neutral is missing, open live, which is when all of them are off. The the live and ground, or live and earth are, are reversed, which is actually quite serious, very serious in fact. The live and neutral reverse, which is what we showed you earlier. And when live and ground are reversed, or missing ground, so uh, uh, if, if all three lights are on, you've got a real problem. Uh, you should not actually use it. The last thing I'd say with this, is that you can test your RCD. You're going to do it now because our filming lights will drop and you're, you're just going to darkness. But you can press this and that simulates a a ground. So to basically test your RCD to make sure that your RCD is working properly. So not a bad test to make, but I wouldn't do this at a campground because you'd uh, potentially throw everybody off and then have to go and wake up somebody, come with a key to unlock a cabinet to turn it back on probably. So folks, I hope that uh, helps you to get a bit, a bit of peace of mind when you're traveling and you want to hook up and you're not really sure about it. So this is the tester that we would recommend. It's a really handy bit of kit. Take this in your motorhome, buy one of these as well so that you can test your 6 amp. We'll put links for both of these down below. And then as I say, consider speaking to an electrician to have one of these made up to re-correct the live and neutral. And you could travel with that, as I said, label it very, very clearly so that you know what it's doing. And just the kit of uh, this, this and this would enable you to, to travel much more safely really if you're using campgrounds and electric hookup. I would just stress the one last thing. If as uh, this is showing us you have a missing ground, consider not plugging in because all safety is removed really. So just be aware of that. If, if you are absolutely sure that everything is absolutely tickety-boo in your motorhome and no chance of anything going wrong, then yeah, go ahead. It's just, it's the equivalent of having a, a two-prong plug with the earth missing. So I just wanted to stress that. If, if it was me, well, we don't often plug in because we, we've got such good solar. But if it was me, I just simply wouldn't plug in if the ground was, was missing. So hopefully that helps. Uh, check the links below. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, again, uh, subscribe if these are useful to you. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or, or anything to add to this. Thanks. See you in the next episode. Cheers.